here in this video we're going to talk about uh, Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, the five uh, top uh, prototyping tools uh, for 2023. Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, some of the top uh, prototyping tools uh, for this year. Now, the very first one is going to be a no-brainer, which is Figma. Now, as you may know, Figma is uh, one of my favorite design softwares out there. And uh, the prototyping tools have come so far, in, uh, especially in recent times. So it's uh, actually my number one prototyping tool, which I'm using for pretty much every client project uh, these days. And uh, the reason being is that uh, it enables you not only to have uh, all of your designs in one place uh, and creating uh, projects at scale in a very fast and efficient way, but it also enables you to easily prototype directly from the app because uh, one of the things that I always try to avoid uh, is to uh, basically use as ma many different softwares for tackling uh, uh, different uh, processes and workflows uh, in my designs. So. Figma is definitely one of my top recommendations when it comes to prototyping tools these days. Now, that being said, if you are in need for something different, so maybe a prototype with higher degrees of animations, maybe you want to show a specific UI or UX animation where Figma maybe isn't able to do that, well, that's uh, where Protopy comes in because Protopy is uh, almost a, a um, proto uh, an animation tool slash uh, prototyping tool. So it's uh, really useful uh, if uh, you want uh, to bring uh, some uh, specific prototypes uh, to a next level. And uh, as you can see over here, it uh, has plugins for both Figma, Sketch, and Adobe XD. So 99.9% .9 of cases, you're uh, pretty much covered with uh, Protopy. So it's really straightforward and uh, does take a, a little bit of a learning curve, especially if you want to create a more complex animations, but it's definitely one of the top uh, softwares out there. Now, another tool which is uh, really useful is Proto.io, which uh, is uh, a uh, software which enables you to create uh, prototypes uh, in a very uh, easy way. <laughs> so when it comes to the previous ones, uh, you would actually have to create the designs uh, in uh, uh, the different softwares. But uh, what the Proto.io enables you to do is to add the components which are uh, already predefined uh, directly from this software. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, and uh, everything is, uh, you know, structured in a way where uh, you're leveraging these templates uh, instead of uh, creating everything from scratch uh, yourself. So definitely really, really useful. Now, another tool, which uh, this one is a little bit uh, of uh, a different uh, uh, tool in and of itself. Uh, uh, and this uh, UX pin and uh, really one of the main advantages of UX pin is uh, the fact that it enables to bring both design and development in the same software. So as it says here, component driven prototyping. So design with the same components that dev uh, build products with. Move your team out of silos for real process improvements. Now, what does this mean? It's essentially <clears throat> going to, be, to enable you to have uh, uh, designs which are then going to be exported uh, in uh, with uh, uh, with code, so the developers can uh, literally copy and paste uh, the code, uh, uh, aka your designs, uh, and uh, basically create uh, apps uh, which uh, are uh, really uh, have a high degree of fidelity when it comes to the relation within your original designs. So this is something which. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to explore more 
and uh, I'm definitely keeping an eye on UX pin because uh, this is going to be probably uh, the next breakthrough in design. So enable uh, Inga to have uh, designs uh, softwares which uh, are already code uh, and uh, but within a no code experience. So this is really interesting. And uh, also another really interesting tool is uh, marvelapp.com. And uh, this is going to be for those of you who just want to export uh, uh, maybe just the single images, the JPEGs, the PNGs, uh, and uh, they want an external software in order to create the prototype and maybe share with the shareholders. So maybe you don't want uh, people to go directly into your Figma designs, but you almost want to have an extra layer of uh, separation between the design workflow and uh, the the handle for presentation to any team member really and it's really similar to what envision does but um although i love both softwares uh, I, I really like the uh just the general ui and flow of marvel app so definitely uh, i would recommend you to to check it out together with envision and then see which one is uh, the best solution for you and your specific projects. So I really hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the very